Well, what's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here, bringing you guys another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the best free plugins in Photoshop in 2020. Now I do this video every couple years. I did one in 2016 and 2018. Um, and these are just plugins that I use, uh, that I have, or that I know about, that I'm familiar with. Um, some of them I use fairly frequently, others I will occasionally use, and others I just have and know about. But I wanted to show them all off uh, so you guys could get some ideas of what these plugins can do and if they work for what you do. So these plugins for the most part are tailored towards things that I do. So they might not be tailored towards your Photoshop activities, but um, feel free to check them out and see if there's some way you'll be able to use them. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know about Skillshare. Um, now, I have my own Skillshare classes, and they're full classes on Cinema 4D and Photoshop poster tutorials, and you can actually get two months free with my link, so if that's something that interests you, uh, check out the link in the description, get two months free, you can cancel any time, and still have those free two months, and there's tons of classes there, so check that out, use my link to get two months free, and let's get started with the video. I'm going to try to go through each plugin as quick as possible give you a little idea of what it does and then move on to the next one. So hopefully we can move through this pretty quickly and you guys can get a sense of each plugin. Most of these plugins have been downloaded from the Adobe Exchange, by the way. And if your Creative Cloud is connected to your Photoshop, once you add the extensions or plugins uh, to your account, it should automatically be added to your Photoshop. So it's real easy. And then once you're in Photoshop to find almost all of these, they're under window extensions. So that's where all of these will be found, and the one that isn't, I will show you how to access that. But the first plugin I'm going to be showing you is the Interactive Blender Panel. Now I've only used this for text over landscapes, um, because you can blend the text with the landscape and get some pretty cool looking uh, effects with that, and that's what I'm showing you in the background here. But you can also do things like colors, maybe you put a gradient over the image and try to blend some of the color into the highlights, uh, which I'll show you here as well. Um, but you can also blend two images together and I haven't messed around with that too much or I have messed around with it but not to good results. There's also some other videos on this plugin that you can um, research yourself if this seems like something you're interested in. Um, but all these plugins will be linked down in the description below so feel free to check it out if you want to learn more and know more about it. The next plugin is one that you've probably seen if you've researched plugins at all and it's the Real Look Long Shadow plugin for Photoshop and this does exactly what it sounds like it does and it creates nice shadows for you. Um, I'm kind of demonstrating some of the features here in the background. One thing I did not do that I showed off here is turn on the 16-bit. Um, so I get a little bit of a janky shadow. For realistic shadows you want to make sure 16-bit is on um, and that's just in the quality section there in the settings. But you can mess with things like the angle, the length, the color, the amount of steps, density, all that stuff. And of course it creates the shadow on its own layer. So then you can go in and mess with the blend mode um, and just mess with it as you would a normal layer. But this one is real easy to use. I have run into some problems when uh, clicking cast shadow and it not doing it. And I think it was because certain settings, maybe it didn't work uh, or it didn't like. Maybe it was the color I used, it wasn't a full 6 hex code, I think I just did FFF. So if you try it and it doesn't work, make sure you go through your settings and there are, make sure they're all good. The next extension actually comes with Photoshop, at least the newest versions of Photoshop, I think from 2017 on. And that is the Adobe Color Theme. Now it's pretty obvious what this is, it allows you to create um, different themes and color palettes right in Photoshop, uh, you can easily apply them to shapes, save them to your swatches, simple stuff like that. So if you're coming up with a color scheme from scratch, it's a nice way to do it. They also have a bunch of pre-generated ones for you to choose from, which is what I mainly use it for, but you can create your own from scratch and save them. You can also save the ones that are pre-generated so you have them for later. And it's just a really easy to use color palette and that's why it's included in all the new versions of Photoshop. Sticking with the same theme of color, we have the plugin called Palidator, and I use this only for generating gradients, but you can put an image into Photoshop and it will generate the color palette from that image. And you can instantly have that as a gradient map, 
which I use it to generate background colors sometimes. Uh, sometimes when I have multicolored things and I need to add in a background. And so I'll use this, create the gradient. Sometimes you can flip it like in this video and then you get like the nice gray in this instance that works as a background color or you can just go through the color palette it generates and find the background color. That's one handy thing I use it for, but just generating color palettes from images also is probably a really great thing to have, although I have not used it for that purpose myself, but it's there if you're interested in that. The next plugin, which is one of my favorites and the only odd one, is Comic Kit. Now I use this one all the time and you might know that if you follow any of my tutorials. Now this one's different from all the other ones because you have to go to edit fill on a new layer you create to access it and then you have to change to a pattern from foreground color or whatever you have and then check script and then make sure you have screen pattern x selected. They also have a couple others but I only ever use screen pattern x and then you have this screen pattern um, settings menu come up where you can create these halftone effects and just create a bunch of different patterns with mainly circle shapes like dots but you can also change to other shapes and they also have a bunch of presets for you that you can use um, and it's one of my favorite things to mess around with I use it all the time in projects as it's a real easy way to add texture to a lot of 2d things that I'm doing and whatnot um, so I really love it Definitely recommend downloading this one, my favorite plugin by far. The next plugin is Splendid, and I know I will get a thousand comments saying how this one isn't free, yada yada yada. I always get them in these videos, um, especially when plugins change from free to paid, and it's super annoying. Now this one I know comes with a demo that's free, and it also has a paid for version. So if they've gotten rid of the demo by this time, I'm sorry. But they do have a free demo version of it, which I have here, and I'm showing you showing you some gradients you can create. And they have a bunch of settings, and you can mess with the colors, uh, things like that. But you get to create real awesome gradients, real simply. And you can create gradients like this in Photoshop anyway, but this is a simple way to do it if you're either not good at it, you don't want to take the time, and or if you just need a quick gradient. Now. In the demo mode, I believe it just comes with these lines uh, over top of it to kind of make you get the paid for version. There's a little life hack for you where you can just go to the Gaussian blur setting and bump it up to like six ish and the gradient will not change that much, but it will get rid of those lines. But anyways, yes, I know this one's technically not free, but it is there if you're interested. The next plugin we have is the Align and Distribute plugin. Now this basically just gives you an Adobe Illustrator panel in Photoshop that allows you to align objects and distribute them, like align them to canvas and things like that. And this is really awesome because I create a lot of patterns in Photoshop, like quick patterns. And to get the even spacing, um, usually you have to go to like layer, distribute, align up top. Uh, and it'll only align them like perfectly straight. This one just has more just has more options for aligning and distributing things Which makes it really great. I really love it and definitely get this if you use Illustrator a lot because it just brings that other element into Photoshop That's really nice and it's always nice to be able to easily distribute things now The next plugin you actually can't get from the Adobe Exchange. You have to get it from their website um, and you have to install it a different way. So they actually have the little tutorial on their website and it should have a little tutorial when you download it of how to install. But basically this plugin is ink and it automatically generates layer specifications for you. Um, so each layer, it can give you the size, the color and the formatting, um, which is great for converting things to like web design. Um, or you can do it to then change the text. So Maybe you do it to a jersey like I'm doing here and you want to make a note about the sleeve trim. So where it measures the sleeve trim and it says the height, you can change the height text to something like um, this is black but could be changed to white or something. Um, add notes in there. There's a bunch of ways you can use it for aesthetics or you can use it practically for measurements and things like that which is why it's pretty neat and you can change the settings of the stroke and the color um, which I kind of mess around with here. Another plugin that was featured previously is FX Box. Now I only use it for one thing now 
which is creating seamless patterns, which it does um, real easily and it's, that is really awesome, honestly. I really love it. Um, but it also has a tool for creating isometric shapes, which don't really use, but if you're interested in like building your own world isometrically in Photoshop, that's a real easy way to do it. Um, and also you can create some cool patterns with the shapes, which I've messed around a bit, but I haven't like used it for anything practical. And then they also have the polar projection to kind of create things into their own little world. Um, if you have like a photo, it'll make it into a ball or whatever, uh, which is a pretty cool effect. Uh, but like I said, I only use it for the seamless pattern generator, which is real awesome. And the final plugin, which is one that I've never used, but I thought it looked cool and wanted to just throw it into this video in case anyone was curious, is the Powtoon extension. Powtoon, I don't know how exactly you're supposed to say it. Um, but it allows you to create videos with your um, still image designs by, uh, I think you have to have multiple artboards and then it creates a video. And I'm not exactly sure how this works, but if this is something that you would be interested in, um, it's available to download for free um, in the description. So check it out. You probably have to look up a tutorial on how to use it as I myself don't really know much about it. Thought it was a really cool feature and it seemed like people liked it a lot, but it's not something that I am going to use. Thought I'd put it in here for you guys that might be interested. But anyways guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed these plugins. Hopefully you found something that you're gonna use. Be sure to check out my Skillshare, get two months free. There's tons of graphic design classes there and tons of things to learn about Photoshop. So be sure to check it out, get your two months free. Leave a like on the video if it helped you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter at Quezzy on Instagram, that's Quezzy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.